Here's a close up right here. It's kind of like, yeah, I'm a fellow craftsman. I want to look at your work here. I mean, that's basically got it. I mean, this is excessive right here. These things, unless you were going to move them up there to the top or keep laying them down around the side. I mean, you're definitely not getting much cover. But you got the basic frame. Yeah, and there's plenty enough stuff around here to freaking definitely finish constructing that. I mean, I really appreciate, like, <laughs> making a, a badass freaking stick house. I mean, it's not just a kid's fort. No, dude, actually, they're almost like a tent. You can sleep in them. <clears throat> when they're all done and you could easily go gr grip up a tarp and just throw it over the top dude and you'd be i mean temporarily i mean there's better ways than that but they will work and they are semi like look semi-permanent i mean i imagine you could make one permanent at least the frame you just have to change the other materials from time to time and just do maintenance on it but yeah, especially the fact that that's a bent over. Yeah, see, that's the first place to start. You can use one living tree, bend that sucker over in an arch. And then you can cut down other, like, saplings and bendables or bowed-shaped wood and just stack it, make eight pillars, bury them or stake them down or something. Bam, there you go. Start tying stick. Start, start tying a stick. Like... A dope stick like what you do you'd like weave it you'd stick it in there bring it to here attach it somehow you take a little y-shaped stick stick it here run it through there even if it's a vine you could run it through here weave it through each one look at these right here these would work too you could add those into the matrix at some point you know what i'm saying use these to go across like this maybe like look, even this right here yeah. Let's see. <laughs> oh, well. Scratch that. <laughs> but if I had a different kind of stick that would work. You use these hooks on this to attach cross beams. And then you weave another stick in between, a skinnier one, a pliable one. Bam. Keep working on it. Then you stick that old brown grass. See, this right here might work as shingle, shingale. Find enough of that. I'm sure there's enough dead wood around here. If you extract a whole bunch of bark. Go like this. Oh, that's too deteriorated with that moss. Overlap them like that down the slope. Yeah, maybe I'll come back and freaking try that. I mean, maybe I'll leave theirs alone. I'll just freaking whip up a different one. Or I could just pimp theirs out real quick. They'll come back and be like, what the hell? Did the fairies freaking do that? Nope. It was the chemtrail weather, man. On a bushcraft freaking assignment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but this I made another one, I guess, out of a... It's funny, man. All these suckers I make, man, they get freaking vandalized, man. I wonder... I made one in Mott Park. I don't stay out there anymore. I don't know if it's still there. It might be. See, that, that could be one, too, man. I mean, I just can't see all them sticks falling there naturally like that. But that one's really rudimentary. I'm a, but look, dude. I don't know. 
I do construction, so I do a lot of freaking remods, deconstruction, reconstructions, new builds. Do a lot of different stuff. Uh, so, I don't have one particular. I'm not a one-trick pony, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it gives you some insights on building shit. Like, I'm sure I could build some shit. I mean, is it going to be code or standard or whatnot? Nope. But I bet you it'll work. Look at this badass tree. And look at them spooky. Look at them spooky things. Oh, you can go through the other side. See the light in there? Like that's in uh, Grand Theft Auto. Star in there. Make the heat go down. <laughs> There's, there's some vine right there. Oh, right there, see? You can round that shit up easy. Oh, let's see. Ooh. 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 Hold on, I gotta set this down. <clears throat> Look at all that. Leave that there for now. I know where it's at. I got something like a geolocating photographic memory. Like, because I do so many woods, woods craft, like hunting mushrooms, hunting bark, hunting wood, hunting plants, fucking scoping animals, scoping for new new areas after a while you get this kind of knack for it and it's also like you get this long term like freaking memory so it literally is like the game memory but we used to play this crazy game back in high school it was called the game we just form up in, in like like two sides and we would break sticks and throw them at each other it was one of the dopest. That was so fun. Whoa. Gotta watch out. I could have pulled a dead dead tree down on my head. I mean, I can't believe how much dead freaking woods out here. What the fuck's going on, man? I don't see no beavers. It is. Oh, that's deer right there. Two toes. What? Oh, are, are you freaking serious? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh, I'm gonna pick this up with the stick because I ain't touching nobody. I ain't even touching no fake nuts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm gonna wear this on my back like a hobo. Oh, like fuck you, buddy. Free money. I can... Oh, dude, there's somebody freaking over there. What the hell? Oh, shit. Man, I wish I had some rubber gloves, maybe. Actually, I can come back and get those. See? Yeah, man, see? We gotta have that. Look. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is symbolic as F. This is symbolic as F. <laughs> uh, how do they say it in Spanish? You gotta have cojones. You know what I'm saying? You make it happen. I'm sorry. There's just some things we can do. It really takes... What it take, man. I mean, just a look. Scanning through the freaking bushes like this. Oh. Man, look how curved that is. I know that wouldn't make a bow, though. 
Well, it's too easy. Ooh, look at that hole through there. Man, I hope somebody didn't steal my damn bike. But I wasn't driving my bike through here, but now, upon second thought, I probably should have tucked it off in here first, but I didn't plan on going this deep. I just want to start going, I'm like, wow, this is cool. I like it. I'm kind of getting sick of taking the same exact freaking uh, path. Kind of at the moment. I didn't feel like wearing my rubber boots, man. I've been wearing them suckers all winter. Ah. So, I can't go in certain parts of the woods. I'm restricted. Jeez. And today I was seeing freaking... There's softballs everywhere in here. Today I was seeing... Oh, this is... I think that's a walker, dude. Man, look at that. I think that's a walker, dude. Uh, I kept seeing... Mushroom videos from down south. Morel videos, man. It's got me, gave me the itch. That mushroom itch. Oh, that mushroom itch that I just can't switch. Oh, wow. I mean, I doubt somebody got my bike, but if they did, I guess they deserve it, man. I should have freaking. Say what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, this is great. <laughs> this really is fucking great. This is like Ninja Heaven right here. Duck. Holy shit. I got something in my hand too. That's freaking definitely. Definitely a freaking uh, handicap. Okay. Yeah, look. There's ours tomorrow. Well, there's not, but. If there is, I can try again. Uh, without injury. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For right now, I'm going to take the low road instead of the high road. But believe that, I'm going to try it. I just might have to come up from this other side first. Test the stability. Before I go over the freaking pinnacle. Yeah, this was great feel so much more relaxed and uh, like uh, peace, clarity and shit at the moment. Just having that little reset, getting off the beaten path and just exploring, getting a little, you know, it's, you know, I've had, I've had better adventures, but this one wasn't too bad. This isn't, it's new. I like it. See, it's, there's only certain activities you can get full body absorption into. But just navigating these treacherous kind of terrains activates your, your balance big time. 